That's what we're always here to do. We're here to lift you up. It's, oh, not that one. It was the, it's the other one. They're going to be really high. Oh, there you go. You're on a wooden bowl today, not a ceramic bowl. So what is going on? Wisconsin, Virginia, Iowa, oh. Louisville, Oregon, North Dakota, California, We're going to Ireland. Ireland. We're going to Orange City for the Tulip Festival. Coming up. It's going to be fun, 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 fun. All right. Let's get it on. Yeah, yeah. Let's get over this way a little bit. There, are we centered now? No. We don't want to give anyone a headache. A little bit this way. There we go. This is, gotta get all the setups going on. Y'all, that I tell you what, this morning I woke up, I was minding my own business, and asked Stacy, I was just walking out, I was going up front, I was gonna load up uh, some logs, and you know, I'm just doing my thing. And when I went out there this morning, it was just disgusting. <laughs> So I actually ran all the way back down from the front, got the camera, and went up and showed you guys real time that they're spraying the skies right before your eyes, and it should be no surprise. Oh my gosh! They, you know, and I was—if you watch the video that we did today, uh, the—if you hear that video, that lawyer was from the law school of Massachusetts. That video is 13 years old, okay? And it's been up on YouTube for 13 years. No one can touch it because she's from the law school. So what she's telling y'all is factual. Otherwise, it would have been wiped off the internet. A lot of people that try to put these videos up, it gets wiped off. But when they're factual, they have to leave them up, right? And they don't even say anything about it. So I wanted you to pay attention to that uh, video and what she was saying. 13 years ago. So Stacy and I have talked about this before. We had a tin hat video a long time ago, remember? Yeah, we did. We talked about it. it was, it's kind of edgy, but I mean, enough's enough, right? And now with this global warming stuff and, uh, you know, I, I brought the thing down. I got the uh, camera put away. I put the video up for you guys. And if you go back and listen to the video or if you missed it, there was no wind in the video. I was talking just fine into the camera. And the whole rest of the day, we had nothing but blowing winds, totally crazy I mean, crazy, crazy. Winds. north, south, east, and west was blowing all over. It was just, it was terrible. I was looking forward to having a nice, nice day so I could do some stuff in the garden. <laughs> it was crazy. You couldn't even do anything. It was blowing the doors open. It was nuts. And now it finally calmed down. So... <clears throat> I don't know what to tell you guys, but we're going to explain to you like how we think about growing food because we just don't think like, hey, there's a garden, let's grow some food and especially food we don't eat. But when we think about a garden, we think about it kind of strategically and we want it to be medicine for us and we want it to be good food for us. And then Stacy's going to talk about anthocyanins. Anthocyanins. Anthocyanin. Well, we're going to basically we're gonna talk about everything going on and every what's going on in our environment what's going on in the skies what's going on just from day-to-day -day life maybe pesticides if you're going and getting things from the grocery store so we're going to get into a whole bunch of stuff today so yeah you just got to buckle in because we have a lot to talk about so hit that thumbs up for sure for sure we're going to talk a little bit about the environmental working group and if you're not aware of this organization it's a wonderful group that's looking out after consumers, consumers. people um, with water, um, skincare items. I mean, you can go to their website. It's ewg.org. 
um, environmental working group, and they've just put out their new 2023 Dirty Dozen and Clean 15. And they're, they're the foods, the fruits and vegetables that are the most pesticide laden, the ones that have so much you know, residue, um, and then the ones that are the Clean 15. So a lot of you guys, if you go to the grocery store and you're getting things, the ones in the Dirty Dozen, I would definitely stay away from and make sure you get organic. And then um, they have the clean 15. So if you need to get not conventionally grown, this would be a better choice because the pesticide residues aren't quite as high. And the one thing for a lot of you guys to know, when you are getting things at the grocery store, it's so, so important that you are rinsing them off. Let's say yes. you don't want to use vinegar and water, you know, to kind of rinse it off. Hold on. That'll get Explain more off. to them about vinegar and water. Don't just rush so fast. You're talking very fast. Well, because... I'm coming so back to that. one way to rinse your uh, veggies. Stop. I'm not going to talk about that yet. I mean, that's pretty just fast listen. talking you got going on. So there's, there's I, was, <laughs> I would say there's two ways. Slow down. If you just rinse it with plain water, you're going to, you're going to get quite a bit of the pesticides off of it if it's on the outer part of it. But the better way to do it is if you're going to soak it in vinegar and water. So you have two ways that you can do it. And then that way, when they did the testing for the Dirty Dozen and the Clean 15, those that was made sure that they were rinsed off. So if you don't rinse your stuff, because I know people, because grapes are in the dirty dozen, all right? I know people, you'll go to the grocery store, and I know a lot of you guys behind there are, you'll just get them and you'll eat them right out of the container. And that's got a lot of pesticide residue on there. So you're just basically eating that junk. So, you know, if one thing you can get out of this today is if you go to the grocery store, just make sure if you don't want to do the vinegar, do it with water because water will get rid of quite a bit of the residue. But if you do soak it, you know, if you, what I do is I just get a little bowl and I'll just do a, like, do a quick, nice shot of vinegar in there and then I put the rest of water and I let my stuff sit in there if you, you know, have some blueberries or, you know, whatever you have. And then that way I just let them set for a few minutes and I just rinse them off and then they're great. So, um... They put out their new 2023 findings, and it's the same as last year and the year before. The top three for the Dirty Dozen are, drum roll please, strawberries. So that's the one thing. If you guys are buying conventional strawberries, please stop because they are just loaded. They have like double the amount of pesticide residues. I mean, it's just crazy. A lot of it in strawberries is number one. And then um, number two is spinach. So think about that. So organic, like let's say you're even buying frozen spinach, make sure that it is organic, okay? So spinach is number two. Number three is your kale, your collards, your mustard greens. Kale is up there now. So be very aware, you know, know to choose if you're going to buy them organic. You know, when you're at your farmer's market, talk to them, find out how they do things, you know. It's just little things, just kind of be... You know, a little bit more aware but what I really do like about this group EWG you could just go there and you can look so if you need to go to the store and you need to get things just know that I'm not going to get anything on the dirty dozen list I'll make sure I'll get it organic if you're kind of watching your budget and then a new one on the dirty dozen was green beans that wasn't on there before so and this is just food that you guys buy at the store right obviously if you're going to be growing your own food which a lot of you all should be doing as much as you can and hitting that thumbs up because it helps the algorithm get the video out. You need to grow as much food as you can or get to know people that grow food. That way we're communicating too, man. It's like the art of communication has been lost with all this technology. Definitely. And then here, let's talk about in the in the Dirty Dozen, grapes were on there also. And uh, a Seems lot like a lot of the Dirty Dozen are high in liquid. You know, they have a lot of moisture passing through them, which is a good carrier for... The contaminants. Yes and no, because um, watermelons and your melons, cantaloupe and things like that are in the clean 15 because they have a harder sure. outer part. Oh, yeah. yeah, like strawberries are very soft on the outside too. So that's why it's in the um, in the dirty. Remember desert. growing strawberries here? Yes, we have a funny story. We started out knowing nothing and we started with 250 strawberry plants. <laughs> it was like seven rows of like 50 of feet long. Man, we have we brought out like a whole uh, big round bale of straw to cover them. <laughs> That's how much strawberries we had at first. Yeah, we did have a lot of them. But watch out for a lot of you guys. I know a lot of you guys are wine drinkers too. Watch out. Wine is loaded in pesticides and they add, you hear about sulfites are bad, but 
you know, when it goes through the fermenting process, fermenting processes, sulfites are just naturally occurring. So, but a lot of times they'll add sulfites to it. So if you're going to get them, you can go to a lot of stores that are like natural type wines, you know, just make sure that you're getting a good wine that is not a conventionally wine or make your own. Like I did my little brandy, apple brandy. You can make your own wine and your own different liqueurs if that's what you want to do. And then that way you're free from all the pesticides and all that kind of junk. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And then, and, oh, let's talk about the clean 15 too. So the clean 15, um, like avocados, I think that was number one. There's onions is on there. Some of your melons are in there, pineapples. So you can go to ewg.org for 2023, you know, and you can get the list and just look at it. So if you forgot and you have your phone with you and you're at the store, you can go ahead and just say, hey, you know, um, let's, hey. look it up. let's look it up. Hey. All right. So, so let's see who else what? is here. Alabama's here. Finishing a batch of maple syrup as I'm watching you guys. That's awesome, Shannon. And Randa. Making syrup is fun. Plant City, Florida. That's strawberry. I've, I've been to Plant City before. I lived yep. in, I I lived in, live there, in Grand there. in Florida. Yeah. And I used to go to the Strawberry Festival. Strawberry Festival. We'll be at the Tulip Festival. And don't forget, we'll be at Eustace Conway's place in like 10 days. Holy Turtle smokes. Island Preserve. Yep. Can't believe it. If you guys want to go check it out, you can uh, go to offgoodwithdougandstacy.com in our events tab. Here, let me get that for you. And if you want to go there, uh, and hang out with us. Stacy will be doing a fermenting class, hands-on, one-on-one, all day long. A lot of people are going to be in the class. going to be a lot of fun. And I'll be building a chicken coop with you guys and gals. And uh, we'll be raising money for summer camp. It's a great event, social event. We'll all be there, all having fun and hugging necks. And uh, hopefully you guys can come out and see us there. That's oh, in like 10 days. I know. I can't wait. It'll be fun. So Mike says, hello, everyone. I'm a, a big fan. I've been a subscriber for years, but this is the first time I've chatted. Yay. Well, hi, Mike. He's from North Carolina. Oh, Mike. Maybe we'll see you. It's my cousin's name. Here. All right. Oh, oh someone wants you to give away a gas mask. Give away a gas mask. That's a good idea. No. Oh, it is now. <laughs> well, you gave away some of it last week. We're buffering over here. Oh, you, oh, we are? How's well, that it's because my internet's not so hot. Turn yours on. How do I do it? What do I want me to do? Your hotspot. Please don't act like you don't know how to turn it on, girl. I'm not very computer savvy. Yeah, you are. See if my hotspot works better. Thank you. We got you back? All righty. Uh, 1,000 thumbs up, 2,000 people in the house. We need thumbs up so we can help get the video out so people know we're live and we can talk about this jive. So, <laughs> Here, help, are you a rhymer now? Help us out. Give us a shout. Smash that thumbs up. Hit it like you mean it. Hit that thumbs up like you're hitting the government in the face. Pow! All right. Yeah, you know, everyone for the likes love, the Darth Vader mask. For the love of of money is the root of all kinds of evil. Not money is the root of all kinds. It's the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. These people, they know what they're doing. You know what I mean? And the people flying the planes were are being sold it as, you know, like this seeding program where we're trying to help the environment and it's all nonsense. So just so you know, that's what the word on the street is. And I'm trying to get this pulled up for you here. So you can get your tickets to the event. Hopefully, in 10 days, we'll see you. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Man, you guys are slow tonight with the thumbs up. There's not that many people here tonight either. Only 2,100 people. Everyone's so busy with their Easter celebrations. When it should have been the Passover one. Okay, let's see. We have... Oh. Oh, right. so... I can't. I just lost it. Here is the tickets in the comment section if you want to come see us in 10 days. Florida just passed their no permit conceal carry, so you can open carry and conceal carry in Florida now. That's kind of a, uh, 
exciting news. Oh, we were just there, and what they didn't have. Yeah. It. They just oh, and Tara it. just ordered lumber to make your raised bed gardens. That's exciting. You're making four. Go Tara. Go Tara. Go Tara. Yep. Okay, let's talk about some more food that we like to grow that's good for you. Um, well, sweet potatoes. Oh, sweet <laughs> potatoes are on the clean 15, too, if you're going to be buying them and not growing them. And make sure if you are growing them, are you? Uh, does anyone do their sweet potato slips? They should be starting to come up now. You want to show them one? Well, just grab one and just kind of show them how they're looking for us right now. And we haven't put them in the ground yet because our ground temperature is just getting up to snuff. So it won't be long now. We'll be laying these things out. So as you can see, we have nice roots there. And then there's all the slips. And we just pinch those off and put them in the ground. Blip, 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 blip. And the reason why we like the purple, these are called the Malachi sweet potatoes. And we keep them year after year. We keep them in the root cellar. Then we bring them up. We start the process all over again. These are why, you know, like, they're used to our growing conditions now, and they're our little babies now. Uh, but we grow these year after year, but they're purple. Why do you like them uh, to be purple? Well, I like... Come out from behind the wild Hi. bush. Uh, any of your fruits or vegetables that are purple are going to be higher in uh, something, an anthocyanin, and it's like a super antioxidant that's really good for your body that will help prevent and help with oxidative damage to the body and... It's just is really good for you. And like we were talking about the chemtrails and, and just chemicals in day-to-day -day life or pesticides in our food or, you know, who knows from your furniture, your carpeting and all that. So it's good to change. And with everything going on in our country and the world, I think this is a good time for a lot of us maybe that are maybe overweight, maybe you have diabetes, maybe you are unhealthy, maybe you're eating fast food all the time. This is a good time, a good wake-up call to kind of get back to starting to eat a little bit better and kind of changing these things because if your body, if you're eating better, then your body's able to detoxify better. So with a lot of us, we want to make sure that your liver and kidney are doing their job because that's what is your job to detoxify to get rid of some of this junk that we're breathing in or, or ingesting. So one of the good things you can do is eat anthocyanin-rich foods which are like your purple flesh foods, like the sweet potato. It's purple on the outside, purple on the inside. You can get the variety of purple asparagus, pur purple broccoli, purple cauliflower, your blueberries, your chokeberries, your, um, your you know, cranberries, uh, eggplant. There's purple tomatoes. There's purple peppers. So, you know, a lot, you know, your cabbages, your onions. So when you have any of that purple pigment, it's just really good for you. So whenever I go someplace and I have a choice between one or the other, I always go for the purple. So go purple. <laughs> so basically, here's our sweet potatoes. And I always say about six inches or so. They're, these are growing crazy. This is good. All you do is pull them off like so. Don't pull it off yet. Yeah. I can't pull it off. You're going to pull it off. See how I did that? And then you put them in a jar of water like that. Those are all the ones she's harvested. And then you just put them in there. In the water there. In the water. And you can't open carry in Florida, but you can conceal carry without a permit. And then they root. Just so we're clear on that. But purple's where it's at. And then we have the orange ones. You know, we like those too. Let's see what else. Do, oh, the Chinese uh, beans. We like those. Oh, yeah, I like these Chinese red noodle beans. They're like this long. And they're just like a big like green bean. They're good for stir fry. They're really good in stir fry. Or just saute them. They're really good. You can eat them like a big noodle. So they're a lot of fun. And they look cool hanging off the um, vine. So, yeah, the Chinese red noodle beans are good. And they have them in green, too. So if you want to try some fun things, I always try to fly, do fun things. And every year, it just so it happens that I always, just, they just keep coming back year after year. I have them in a corner in my garden, and it works out good. A lot of the stuff that you guys want to start to plant, you have to wait till the soil's up to snuff. You know, it has to be a little warmer. If it's too cold, the thing will just sit in there. And then, like, if you plant potatoes too soon, they'll sit in there so long uh, because the soil's cold. Sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes especially. Yeah. And they'll rot, and then you won't get anything from them. Yeah, regular potatoes, you know, they're they're okay to plant when it's a little cooler. But sweet potatoes, you have your soil temperature at least at least needs to be like sixty five degrees. So, purple sweet potatoes have been around since the forever. Yeah, when we were at, <laughs> when we were in Florida, or not Florida, Hawaii. Kid yourself. 
when we were in Hawaii, you just go down the road and then there's vines, you yeah. know, just like you have weeds they going on. Like they're there's everywhere. Yeah. And every place you go in Florida, you get purple. So you get That's the potatoes, right. sweet potatoes. Come on. Stacy, have you ever made sumac tea? Oh, yeah. Sumac is great. It's very Mediterranean. So I'm Armenian. So that was a definite sumac is very lemony. Um, we have I have a whole big patch that I have over here on the side by our pond. And it's also good to dry out, and then you can use it as like a seasoning because it gives you kind of a lemony type flavor. Wow. There must be a lot of people busy with family today. All of our families missing in action on our live show. <laughs> and one of the ways we're combating the, you know, spreading in the skies is that we bucked up and got a hoop house, um, a tunnel, high tunnel. And so that's, uh, we should be picking that up Tuesday. So watch for videos, uh, maybe right before we go to Eustace's place. We might try to get that thing up. Uh, if not, right when we get back, and we'll walk you guys through the whole process of setting up one of these things and explaining to you how it goes and the benefits of it. Now, if you've watched our older videos, I have not really been a big fan of them, but I'm, you know, I have to... You know. Because okay, <laughs> have to adapt or die. Are we conspiracy theorists <laughs> or not? But um, have you guys noticed that over the years that things are not growing as They're good as they used to? Good. And you know what grows good? Honestly, what really has been growing good and on our list about taking care of your body to help detoxify the body are all the cruciferous vegetables, like your radishes and your broccoli and your cauliflower and your cabbages and your arugula. For me, that's what really grows well, very well here. And I have found a lot of these other things haven't been growing quite as well um, as they used to. And I don't know if it's because what's coming from the sky or what's happening Definitely. as well as a lot of our ponds. I talked about this last week that I think there's a lot of the desiccates in the sky. And so it's drying up all the ponds all around the state. And, and we're getting rain too. and it's and we're getting plenty of rain. We're getting yeah. rain and we're not watching. You know how you see the dry spot where the water was and where it is. And we keep getting rain, and it just doesn't seem like it's moving the needle on the ponds. So that's just our observation. So if you have any questions, you can leave them in all caps. But what we're talking about tonight mostly is the food that we grow to help detox our bodies and to help keep us healthy and not a big pharma. Yeah, definitely. Garlic yeah. is a big one. Garlic is any of the sulfur-rich type you know, fruits and vegetables. So garlic is huge for detoxification for, you know, the liver and all that. Onions, onions are another one that is a great compound. Generally, when you guys are um, cooking, and let's say you cut open an onion, if you let it set for, you know, let's say I'm going to put it on a salad or I'm going to put it on a sandwich. If you let it set about 10 minutes or so, it activates this compound called allicin in it. And uh, it's a lot more potent. So if you let it set for a little bit before you go ahead and use it, it, it'll be a little bit more, I guess, medicinal, I guess you could say. But, you know, cook with onions, cook with, you know, your garlic. They say like four little garlic cloves is kind of equivalent to like an antibiotic dose. Yeah. So it's good. Like that is the one thing I do. Like Doug and I had, um, I made pizza, homemade pizza tonight in a salad. I always get my garlic press and I always will crush you know, if you close the garlic in our salad Always. every single day, that Always. is like our thing. And it makes your salad taste so much more better and vibrant and just, just tastes really good and robust. Um, so we just try to include these things. And if you have, if you're not used to doing this, it, it just takes, you know, a little practice and maybe just start adding crushing some garlic in your salad or crushing some garlic in your homemade salad dressing and just start doing these little things. And it's very helpful. And then another thing that's helpful Be with proactive. detoxification is quercetin. And I had done a video on the onion skin tea. If you save your onion skins and then you make them into a tea because it doesn't really taste like anything at all, um, you can get some quercetin. And quercetin is very good for your immune system and, and to help with that. It's like also. the old ways. They used to do all that stuff. Right. Okay, Jennifer Churchman. She got her 10 pounds of Redmond salt. She loves it and everything. Why does the Ben Nye Clay say something about cancer? Because California is retarded. That's why. They have to put that on there because California. But we can't get the label on the meat. If you guys want an update on that video that I did, I'm going to have one coming out. But it's still hung up in committee. And they keep complaining that they're going to have to spend too much money on the labels. Because it's, it's, they're going to have to label every piece of food you're putting in your mouth. 
with this genetically modified and and this vaccine induced food that they're trying to shovel down your face. This is a, this is for real, y'all. For real, for real. More videos coming out. More proof on deck. Two thousand thumbs up. Please smash it on the way in. Hope you guys are having a great uh, Easter celebration if that's what you're into. And uh, we're winding down now, getting ready to roll until Monday, Monday. What's going on with the House Bill number 1169? Hung up in committee. So far, the, uh, you know, what do they call those lobbyists? You know, they're doing their job, man. They work for the big bucks. And you little peasants aren't making enough noise. Yes, I guess. There's still four Republican holdouts. And I'm gonna, I'll do a follow-up video about it this week. So we can try to rattle some more chains. On the bees, I saw the bees flying. Everything's good with the bees, but then we get all the spraying. I'm scared for the bees. I hope they went back inside and didn't come back out. <laughs> today was disgusting. Oh, the, it was really The video terrible. that I did today was off the chain, y'all. It was really clear yesterday. Last night when we went to bed, me and Stacey, we were looking at the stars the Big Dipper and it the was Little beautiful Dipper. Last night. And then all of a sudden, she started seeing them doing it at nighttime. So when they, and they do it a lot. If you guys notice, you go out there, and especially when you have a bigger moon and you can see, you'll see them. They do it 24-7. And then and when I terrible. woke up and went up front, I was just like, yeah. I could not even believe my eyes, y'all. So I grabbed my camera and made that video today. It was totally from the heart. And it was totally legit. I mean, I've looked into this stuff. I know it's hard to, it's a hard pill to swallow the stuff that we're learning. It's so it's all so true. And you have that. Oh, what I was getting at the lawyer in the video today. Right. If you listen to her talk, she says the government has said that they want to control the weather by 2025. Don't you guys think that's a coincidence? That's 13 year old video. 2025 was the tag time. And then if you listen to the WHO and the WEF, all their stuff's 2025. Are you guys getting this? Our election's coming up 2025. I, I don't know if anybody picked up on that, but I mean, I'm listening to this. Uh, we are working on their time schedule and we have to start throwing monkey wrenches in it. And JFK Jr. is about to run, possibly, for the Democratic nominee good. or independent That's good. Uh, for president. And he's in the know, man. He knows what's up. He knows what's up. All right, what can we grow for healthy carbs and kids year round? For, and car, what for carbs. It? And what else? Healthy for carbs for kids. Um, squash. Squashes are great and they're so much fun. You get them involved, have them put the seeds in. If you want to start the seedlings, go ahead. You can put them in, grow them in a, you know, a cup, or you can just go ahead and put them directly and direct sow them in the ground. How fun is that? You can just have, you can make a whole like a squash patch. And try different varieties of squashes if you want to. But squashes are very easy to grow and so much fun to pick. And then they can pick them and then you can get them and you can saute them. You can get the seeds and you could, um, you know, just like you do pumpkin seeds and you would roast them. You can do some with cinnamon and maybe a little um, like honey on them or succinate sugar. You know, you can make them sweeter. You can do them with some red and salt. Um, you can do some other seasonings on there. I mean, you can have so much fun. So there's lots you can do. Very healthy. Squashes are wonderful. And so hopefully you guys that. are moving your money around, getting out of the big regional banks. Hopefully you're getting some gold and silver. Silver's bumping up like crazy. Gold is off the chain over $2,000 plus dollars an ounce right now, man. All the central banks are buying up the gold. This is a fact. The COMEX is being drained by all central banks because they're going digital currency. We're, this is going to be a good thing, I think. I wouldn't go for central bank government stuff. I would go for blockchain. But the, and it's going to have to be gold backed. Or, you know, it's going to have to be backed this time. This 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 fiat funky stuff we've been using is not going to be any good. A lot of people want to know where you got the gas mask. What's the brand of it? Do you remember? Do you remember? My son's uh, in the military. I asked him what was up. That's what he recommended. And maybe I'll tell oh, you guys. I think I know. Hold on. She's got it. <laughs> da, 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 da. Where is it? I told you to take a picture and do it, Senator, and you didn't. Mira. Mira. M-I-R-A. -I -I this is not an endorsement. We don't know them. It's just like I said. My son said, get that one, and that's the one I got. And I got extra cartridges. 
and the whole nine. And I fully understand that my beard has to go. So trust me, I have a razor on hand that can take this thing off in two seconds. And I'm, I can't do it now because you guys would flip out. <laughs> if I shaved off my beard and everything, oh my gosh, you guys would be like, what happened to Doug? Where's Doug? That's another reason why this is cool because it's definitely like a little setup, right? I mean, I could disappear and no. You would have no idea who he. You, he looks totally different. Right. <laughs> you do. You would have no clue who he was. Shave it. So I know it has to go if, I, if, if things got really serious. No How is Gold and Silver going to help us when everything crashes? Because since the beginning of time, it's always been a trade tradable resource. It's always had value, always. It's the it's biblical currency. So it always has uh, buying power, always. And so does toilet paper, coffee, liquor, um, you, know, f f you know, antibiotics, garlic, you know, just whatever. Okay, Jill wants to know, do I put my citrus peels in the compost? I'll reuse my citrus peels. You could go ahead and dehydrate them and you can use it. And you can use the skins, you know, you can, how you do the like lemon peels or orange peels, you can use them for flavoring for foods. Um, the other thing I like to do is I'll put them in a big jar of like vinegar and I'll use that for cleaning solution. So like white vinegar, distilled vinegar, I'll just go ahead and let them set in there for a few weeks, strain them out. And then when I'm ready, I'll use it as concentrate, maybe a fourth of it. I'll put of that orange or lemon uh, mixture with the vinegar with water in a squirt bottle and I can use that to clean it wherever you want to use vinegar, like maybe in your toilet bowl or well, Ew, we don't have a toilet bowl, do but no, I'll use vinegar Just for on certain things. It works for yeah. everything. And yeah, the reason I why stayed. I have to, the reason why I have to get rid of the beard is because you have to have a, a seal on your face, right? Like that thing has to be totally tight. Your gas mask, if you're going to wear it, it has to be totally sucked onto your face. Okay? Well, it is really tight. On so us. I'm going to get Stacy to wear one. I'm going to spray her with pepper spray. I said, I'm no, show I don't you guys how it works. That. Should I do it? Yeah, yeah you, you should do, do it. That. I don't want to do it. I'm a big chicken. We are working really hard for you. We just are trying to help you guys out. We're trying to hip you guys to this stuff. Some of you may have never heard this stuff before. And all this stuff is on point. The vaccine passports are not going away. I'm telling you guys are coming out with it. The next pandemic is on deck. They're going to introduce it via swine flu or bird flu or avian flu or whatever. We still let them play around. Oh, the other thing, did you guys catch in the video today? Did you catch the the uh, where she said the uh, weaponized stuff that they spray in the sky? She said where it came from. It was a fort in the United States. And if you listen, I can't remember right off the top of my head. You got to go listen again. But she, when she said it, immediately that was the same place that apparently Wuhan had got the virus from like it started here in our, in our soil they transferred it over to the wuhan and then it finished up there and then they sent it out right and like it's fort fort something dietrich fort something and she said it 13 years ago she said it and now it's on my radar because it happened all during covid this is you can't make this stuff up right this is not conspiracy this is not coincidence man this is this is right in your face you can't deny it I wish I had the time to just sit down and just play all this stuff and connect all those little connections and just do one video, just connecting them all saying, blah, 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 because it's all right there. And I remember stuff good. That's why it clicks with me right away. Oh, Dora says, um, thanks for helping my, you see by eating fermented foods have helped tons of my gut. Yep. Yeah, that's where it and does. That's it helps thing. your nerve track. Let's talk about, um, when we're talking about detoxifying, detoxification, the chemtrails, whatever's going on. Fermented foods like apple cider vinegar, raw apple cider vinegar with the mother, that is a good one. If you put a little bit in your water and, you know, drink it in the morning or drink it during the day or whatever, it's very helpful at help pulling out a lot of these um, toxins too through the digestive tract, as well as fermented foods like your sauerkraut, and the sauerkraut is going to help you also to go to the bathroom more regular. You're it's busted. Crazy. You're busted. Wow. Stacy got busted on the first live show, man. Stacy, you dyed your hair. Hello, 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 h
No, I didn't. I didn't color my hair. Tell them what happened now because they. I oh okay. This is what I did. No way. Good job. I just put a through some of my gray streaks. I just did a few highlights. That is a it. Few highlights. That just is a few. it. That is it. That's it. That's it. Just That's a it. few. I didn't color my hair or anything. <laughs> I didn't. I did color my hair. I just Busted. put a few highlights. I did it. I told so. her not to do it. Yeah, you got mad at me, but I don't care because it's I, her hair. It's my hair. Right. I like it. I, I only care about what how I feel. So I like it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he didn't talk. You didn't talk to me for a while. Oh, I talked to you, but it's still, it's like, <laughs> man, you're, you're like a beacon for these women over here. Well, I just, I just did a few highlights. I'm not going to ever color it. I'm not going to do that, but just, you know, as it starts to change, it just looks kind of crazy. So I'm just, she I just did a few, just, I just did a few highlights. 60 is getting her, y'all. 60 is like, mm. Yeah, but I just did a she few. She's walking around the homestead. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I did it. Yeah, she did. It took her a second. She'd been talking about it and then I busted her back down and then y'all got on her in the, a while ago. And then she let it lie for a little while. And then she just straight up, what was it yesterday? You did it, it was yesterday. yesterday. <laughs> so day before <clears throat> or whatever she said, I got an appointment. <laughs> but it was, you know, I mean, I just, she, I just did a few. Just she said, you're busted. You, even if you put highlights in, it's color in your hair. You're busted. What is that? What is that? A little bit of. Uh, okay, just let's drop it. Just drop it. I'll probably let it grow out again. So just give me a break. Busted. Shame on me. That's our good fun stuff right there. I'm pretty good. Everything I, I live a pristine life, so that is my one little. That's her guilty did. pleasure. Yeah, I just did it. I I get broke down. I'm sorry, you guys. And she's trying to get me to do my beard and my eyebrows. I am not. You're crazy. <laughs> okay, so Renee wants to know: Is there one veggie that you each dislike? Is there one you don't like? Veggie? Which one? A you, vegetable. You, you tell them. I don't know. You tell me what you don't like. It's you, not me. I know, but you make the food. Which one do I don't like? Oh, I don't like okra. I'm sorry, you guys. Mm, it doesn't really do nothing for me either. We don't really grow it either, do we? Really. I like, well, I like it because I like the flowers. <laughs> the flowers are beautiful. Oh, P. Huckleberry got the rebounder yesterday. P. Huckleberry. Awesome. That's nice. Okay, That's so a good he, rebounder. Here's the other thing, and you guys, I'm probably, I sound like a broken, broken. It's good for your body. So rebounding when you want to look at detoxification is huge. It's probably one of the best. If you could pick one thing, if you were gonna like do some kind of movement or exercise, it's probably the best thing you could do. It's good. It helps with your eyesight. If like, let's say your eyes are muscles. So when you are bouncing on the rebounder, so for a lot of you guys that have them, if you pick a spot far away, you know, on the wall, and you just watch it as you're bouncing, like, for 15 seconds, and then maybe look somewhere else, it, your eyes will get stronger. <laughs> Stop it. What are you looking at? Hold on. At? Tell them now. I'm just looking at I'm going to read to you what they said, but I'm looking to see. Just tell them. Keep talking about your rebounder. No, don't. What are you looking at? I'm just looking at what she's talking about. Go on. What is she talking about? I'm going to tell you, but you can tell them about the rebounder first. Don't, don't try to cheat. Go on. Well, that's what it is. It's not hair color. They yeah, she it. says a licensed master cosmetologist. Highlights are not color. They're usually a bleach. I know. So I was smelling the It's not. Out. It's not. Shut up. Go away. So um, what was I talking about now? You See, no, that. you did it to yourself. All I was doing was watch. I even told you five times to go on. You're talking about your rebounder. So on the rebounder... Um, it's good for your eyesight. It's going to help with your digestion. It helps strengthen your pelvic floor it's muscles. Not. If a person who is elderly or you can't hardly move, you can just there's you can get side handles or front handles on them, attached to them, hold onto a wall. You can just like walk on it. You can just kind of bounce a little bit. I mean, you don't have to do that much, but that action really helps the lymphatic system to help detoxify, and it is so wonderful for every part of you. It's just a very gentle way and you can work really hard and you can work your muscles because if you start bouncing on that thing you'll start you know um breathing hard and you'll notice your legs get toned and it's just great and what about your booty yeah it helps give you a lift there too but uh besides that you know you look at children children just love to bounce and it, and it also helps strengthen believe it or not other parts of your body your arms um, your legs, of course, and, and your, your core. It's just a wonderful way to detoxify, get your fitness, get movement in there. And besides that, it makes you feel good. Like 
I like crave it. You know, like when you're thirsty and you crave some lemonade or something. It's like I crave to get on it because when I get done, it kind of just gives your cells like a big recharge. It really makes you feel good. So it is it is wonderful. So that yeah. was another good one for detoxification. They said you could use some lemon on it. I know. That's what I do. I used to do that all the time. No, on your hair. I know that. Oh, well, why didn't I did. you do that? I would have helped you. I did do that. I did that for a long time. You lemoned out? A lot of people were saying, oh, your hair's lighter. I did that with the lemon juice. And I was like, yeah. it smells so lemony. Lemony fresh. Got my sun oven. How to season in my Lodge cast iron on it. How does what now? Got my sun oven. How to season my Lodge cast iron in it. Oh, I just put your stuff in yeah, there. Yeah. Make put sure your ghee in there. Rub it really good and then flip it upside down. You don't put it in there open because you'll get the little streaks in it. Make sure it's upside down and just set it out there, you know, a couple hundred degrees or so, and it'll just season. That's that's a good idea. I've never done that before. I always did it in my oven here. So, good one. You can season your cast iron in the sun oven. That'll definitely work. Can I direct sow seeds that I have in the freezer? Well, you're going to leave them outside for a little while. They have yeah, to I let them thaw out a little bit. Yeah. Have you heard of potato peel heart hair color? <laughs> okay, let's not talk about hey, that anymore. Okay, we need the business. Well, quit reading it. Read other things. They, they put it in all caps. They tricked me. How do you store potatoes with no cellar? I live in Florida. What was it? Uh, you just got to find a cool, dark spot. So if you have a hot, you know, you probably have air conditioning. So put it in a closet, cover it with some newspaper, throw a blanket over it. You just want to keep it in a cool, dark spot. Those potato bags, the burlap sacks are, are great. Awesome. Yeah, those are great. So you can even order stuff like that, like burlap sacks. You can order them, or there's a lot of places. If you go to nurseries, a lot of times people have them. Um, they may even give them to you. So. Yeah, when you use the sun oven, you do want your pots to have lids. It helps keep the heat in there and the moisture and everything. So that's definitely a Yeah, it will. when you cook with the sun oven, you it will produce a lot of moisture in there. So a lot of times I would make, let's say I make a roast, and I'll put, you know, Maybe I would make a juice or put some broth in there. You really don't need it. You put season in there. The way it cooks, it will produce a lot of liquid, a lot more than normal than you would do in the oven. The chocolate tea has anthocyanins in it, and it um, is very sweet. It doesn't have a bitter taste. And well, it, it's not sweet It's because it's just the natural cacao hulls. So it's not, well, if you just drank it with no sweetener yeah, in it, you need some syrup. it's going to, it just tastes slightly chocolatey but it's not going to be sweet like a not candy like bar bomb, at all but it's but the bomb when you put the maple if syrup if you put like if you put stevia extract in there if you put some honey or some maple syrup it's really good with the maple syrup it tastes wonderful and the longer you let it steep the better what i like to do is put it in you know like a thermal mug and then that way it'll stay in there for a while and then because it won't get cold and then it tastes it's like, a bomb. like dessert it's like really if you let good. it go like 20 minutes whoa. or more than that more than that even especially with it's those because really they last a long time so right when you get down to the very bottom of it you're like mm, this is so delish but they're all sold out and we're out of stock right now but we do have those cool uh tea balls in stock at off with doug and .com. and there's the Link in the comments. It's right there for you to click. You can get a t-shirt or a tea stick. <laughs> Stacy's got our new uh, blend. We've got a new blend. She's been working hard on it. Here, I'll show you guys. She didn't know I was going to even show Oh, it. you're going to show it? Yeah, because we're going to get it figured out here in a second. So it's, well, you can't really see nothing going on, but this is our sleepy time uh, digestion tea. No, that's not. Oh, no, 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 not, I don't have it. No, not that one. Rest and digest. That's what it is. No, that's, 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 this is it. Yeah. This is different. That's a different one. We're doing two, two different blends. So this yeah. is the rest and digest. This is all organic, uh, non-sprayed, you know, fresh herbs. Uh, that's our special blend. And we'll have this coming out soon. By the end of this month. And we, all, we had lots of taste testers. We yes, had, we, we did. Had a little day. Yeah. Where the Amish come over and we blended and tea samples. They were so excited. Yeah, I had all the girls come over. They were all helping and we all did it. And, then... and Stacy's in charge of it because she has the master uh, snoot and taste buds. All right. That was fun. I made bread and butter, carrots, fermented them. They were awesome. Nice. What do you use for your pizza crust? Oh, tonight. Would you use non bread? Um, 
Yeah, you know how you can make the, the, the homemade flatbreads and all that? In my recipe book, in my cookbook, I have a ton of flatbreads. There's a sweet potato flatbread. There's like a spelt flat flatbread. There's, um, what did I do, garlic? I can't, what are the other ones in there? I can't even remember. Isn't that terrible? So what you can do is make extra flatbreads too, and then you can freeze them. Um, and I took this out of the freezer and then you can go ahead. I put some ghee on them and then you can put them in the oven to get them crisp if you want, or you don't necessarily have to. Tonight I put it in a grill so I didn't make it crispy. I just went ahead and put all my toppings on it. I had leftover taco meat that I put on top. I did some um, onions on there and I did the meat and then I put some goat cheese and oh, it was wonderful. And then we had a salad. So it worked out good. Gene, I'm going to be talking about the firewood business, man. I'm... I've been going over there. That's why, you know, I'm kind of busy with that stuff and I'm real focused on it. And so when I get back probably from Eustace Conway's place, I'm going to make a woodlot channel and we're going to start talking about the firewood business and showing you guys what's going on over there and telling you how we're selling wood and everything else. So thanks for asking about that. That'll be a second channel too, in case we get to poke in the eye over here. <laughs> you guys won't lose us. I think we'll be fine though. Everything we're saying is legit. You know, I do the, my homework pretty good, so. Should we invest in the pricey rebounder? You get um, what you pay for. Yeah, the, 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 I have the Bellicon and it's a really good one. And it, when you're on it, you don't hardly even have to bounce that much. Um, if, if you want to invest in your health and you're going to do it, honestly, it's amazing what it can do for you. I mean, it clears your head. You just feel so much better. I mean, everything about it. Just know that you're doing so much good for your body. If it's a rainy day, if it's a hot day, a cold day, I mean, you can just do this anywhere. Like today, what was what, like 50, 60 degrees? I took mine outside and I did it in the morning. And I it was so much fun. I had so much fun. I just love it. I just turn a little music on and you just go. If you want to watch something on YouTube or you want to listen to a podcast. I mean, it's just great. You just bounce around and it's just fun. And then that way I'm outside doing it. So I'm getting nature and I'm just having a great time. And it really is a lot of fun, but I'm saying any age can do it. My 93 year old aunt can do it, you know, just as long as you're holding on to something. And then that way you're getting so much benefit. It's going to make help with your bones. It's going to help with your health. And it's just wonderful because see a lot of us sit a lot. So people maybe have pelvic it's floor problems. Cancer. Or even prolapse, you know, you'll have a prolapse and then you have to get it all stitched up. I mean, this is going to help strengthen that. That's all caused from weak muscles. So we don't want to have weak muscles. We want to keep going and doing things. So, you no, know, I, I'm all about getting a better rebounder. So I say, you know, if you don't, the Bellicon is a little pricey, but um, there's other ones that are pretty good. Like go, I, I said before, you can go to... YouTube or wherever and just ask like the top rated uh, rebounders and then maybe get one of those. But they're definitely great. Yeah, you can use a fridge for ferments. Yeah, you know, if you can have a dead, you know, like your husband has a beer fridge out in the garage. <laughs> I would rather have a ferment fridge out in the garage. Well, and here's the other thing for yeah, refrigerators. Yeah, does rebounds. Yeah, he does. He does. So what you do is uh, you can stick your ferments and just if you don't, if, like the back of your refrigerator, because no one ever goes in the very back. You can just stick a whole bunch of them in each, you know, each level in the back of your refrigerator, and it works out great. Or, like I said, get another refrigerator and then put them all in there. That would uh, be good. Somebody says, should people pay their mortgages off even if it leaves them with little savings? I'm not a financial advisor. I don't play one on YouTube. I wouldn't pay my mortgage off just yet. Right now, I'd just be paying slow and steady. As long as you got a good interest rate and you're locked in good, I'd be paying slow and steady right now and see how this stuff shakes out. You might need your cash. <laughs> you should be buying food, dehydrated food. You should be buying a little bit of gold, a little bit of silver, some extra coffee, some liquor, some vodka, right? Some stuff that you can barter and trade with. That's the kind of stuff you guys need. Some tools. Maybe there's some tools you've been wanting to get. Maybe you haven't gotten them. I'd be doing stuff like that. That's what I've been doing. So I'm only telling you what I've been doing. Uh, and yeah, you can use your crawl space to store food. Depends on how big it is. We had a little, you know, we have enough room in our place where I can walk like a duck walk. Uh, and we actually kept food down there when we first got here for many years. And then uh, we built a root cellar, a, a real nice one. So you can definitely do it. Yes, we'll be in Ohio again. We'll be in a lot of places coming up. Stay tuned. Please hit that subscribe button because you're not doing too good on the thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hit that thumbs up, would you? 
Uh, hello from Minifee, California. They're talking about seasoned property. They're talking about a whole, you know, revolutionary war is what they'll be talking about. That's why they want to try to get your guns away. You know, have you guys, uh, if you got Netflix, I encourage you guys to watch the Timothy, Mc, uh, no, the uh, David Koresh video about uh, Waco, Texas, right? It's very eye-opening. I just encourage you guys to watch that video. Man, I, I almost want to do a video about it. The chocolate tea will probably be back in stock next week, maybe, hopefully. It's hard to deal with. You know what I mean? It is. It's not like, you know, it's, just, it's not everywhere. What can you do for severe GRD acid reflux disease? As ACV burns me and my prescription meds don't help me. Um, for acid, you know, you could um, start, to look into doing some digestive enzymes, like um, betaine. Um, just look, do some research and just look into digestive enzymes for that. Just look it up, Google search it. And before you eat, you know, you can take it or when you're eating, you can take some digestive enzymes. Kevin, she's, helpful. Kevin she's been uh, living in that house for two years now. And yeah, she loves it. She absolutely loves it. 4,300 people, 3,200 thumbs up. Doug's getting ready to go to bed. That's right. Doug's tired tonight. Uh, Northern Michigan. Name that song. I don't know that one. You didn't do a very good job of it. You get to do it again. Do it again. It didn't. I. I didn't know what it was. Usually, I'm good at knowing your songs. What's good is we. I like... bought the whiskey at the bottom. Oh right. Sorry about he, he's tomorrow. He's singing Kid Rock. Singing sweet song, <laughs> Alabama, all Southern so long. Yeah. If you have skin issues, you probably have gut issues. Usually everything's happening on the outside is because okay. of the inside. There's more to it. There's more to it, but that's a that's a that's a big about. that's a big thing too. But you know what? Said, this listen. Uh, this is this is the thing. This is the thing that will save the world. Save the world. Insulin. Your insulin, people, a lot of people do have skin problems, eczema, psoriasis, believe it or not, because of Inside. High carbohydrate diets. Seriously, let's say you like. I don't have any. I don't need any dessert or sugar. Well, maybe I always say it: pasta, breads, pasta, cereals, crackers, and all that kind of stuff. That's all going to turn into sugar. So, and it just crashes and goes into your body. So these insulin levels, when they go up, it wreaks havoc on your body, causing brain fog, causing lots of issues, skin tags. It's going to start skin problems. I mean, so much. So. You know, we talk about good proteins, grass-fed proteins, you know, good meats with the fat. That's wonderful. Eggs are amazing. You know, start changing some of the things that you're eating. And then that way your body will work more efficiently because, and you don't want to keep snacking all day long. Just, just keep snacking. You know, like even my little granddaughter, when she comes over here, <laughs> that's my ferment. I did a bunch of ferments. I had some I had some cabbage that had been sitting around for a long time. I had to peel a ton of it away, but I made a bunch of mess. Those are called mason tops. So get them at off grid with DougAndStacy.com. They help you ferment like a pro. But like my little granddaughter, when she comes over, you know, and we're running around doing stuff, I'll give her a nice breakfast with tons of eggs, lots of butter, you know, and she's getting a good hearty breakfast. We're running around all day. I mean, she doesn't ask me for a snack or any. I mean, she'll get hungry a little later, but she, she's not snacking all the time and all the time. But if she's going to get a snack, I'll make sure she gets something that is helpful for her. That's not going to spike her blood sugar up, you know, all of a sudden and have her go crazy. Right. And just, Unless so we're dropping them off. It's kids, you know, <laughs> kids, adults. It's the same thing, guys. You know, make sure you're putting good things into you first thing in the morning so you have a good day because that will set the day. You know, yeah. what you haven't been eating all night, you know, have your, you know, pinch of 
salt, red and salt in your water for your soleil in your water, a little teaspoon of soleil in your water in the morning. Um, make sure you're getting that first thing and then just kind of go from there, eating a nice, healthful breakfast that's full of good fats and um, things that aren't going to spike your blood sugar so much. Yeah, Larry Dubler, see I dropped that in there for you. What'd you drop in there? The answer to those questions. Doug, why don't you color your beard? I'm not into that foofy crap. <laughs> I'm all about my wisdom show. And I, I man, it's really gone gray on me though. These last couple of years. It's funny because you go back and look because you yeah. know we we've been doing this for a while and it's funny to see how much you, your your hair changed. Yours really has. Well, mine did too, until yesterday. And we have fifteen hundred videos for you guys to go watch and glean from. Uh, you know, that's always there for, at your fingertips for free. You can go back and watch all of our videos. We show you how to plant seed, build raised beds, put in gardens, all that stuff, man. Build greenhouses from scratch, build outdoor kitchens from scratch, build root cellars from scratch, how to harvest rainwater. The whole thing, a whole playlist, all that stuff, man. It's so much information. It's better than the public library over there. Absolutely free, and you don't even need a card, and you don't even have to leave your crib. And Rick is very excited because he used his own apple cider vinegar for the first time this morning. Now that feels good. Go, right Rick. Now. Isn't it? It's empowering it to is. do it yourself and then you're using it because then you don't have to buy it in the store. Anybody I love paying it. attention to Jerusalem trying to outlaw Christians talking to people about Jesus? Ha <laughs> ha! When they get all their money from us, if it wasn't for us, Israel over there would be a. Of a whole, right? We've been sending them so much. I don't know if you guys ever looked into this stuff. We send Israel a lot of money, okay? And they're over there trying to straight up ban people converting people from Judaism and throw you in jail. <laughs> and you know, it was funny. They announced all that stuff. And honest to God, I, you can't make this stuff up. The rockets started coming in from Hezbollah. <laughs> Make it up on Passover. You can't make this stuff up, y'all. They are literally trying to pass a law over there like that, right? This is the stuff that's going on around the world right now, okay? Crazy, wild stuff, right? They're protesting over there. France is on fire. I don't know if you guys are following France. The farmers are winning their fight, right? All those farmers you guys were hearing about that were spraying poop on the Capitol and protesting and all that stuff, they are winning, right? But it takes time. So we just have to stay patient. Oh, Carmen, she got the Bellicon rebounder. She's waiting it to be delivered. Go, Carmen. Go, Carmen. Go, Carmen. Oh. You know what book I, I read on raising sheep? What happened with you? The no book. I didn't read any book on raising sheep. I got some sheep. I asked some questions. I watched their behavior. I learned it hand on training well and then also we were I around had, a lot of people I had friends, a lot not of, a lot of people now sheep's not a our, big deal right. sheep you know sheep out here are kind of frowned on you know what i mean like this is cattle country <laughs> so this is it man you just you you know it's two sheep per acre so that's how you know how to start and from there it gets them learn them and if you don't like them rehome them you can find a nice home for them uh it's no problem or you can butcher them so they're always food Hi, Doug. How This is from Zach. How do you keep your outdoor shower from freezing in the winter? We shut her down, Zach. We, we come on to the, the inside. Yeah, we let all the water out of it because we've learned the I'm hard I'm going to show you guys <laughs> why in the video coming up. Yeah, because, yeah, you have to, because the filter and everything will get all messed up, so. We have three freezers storing meat for us. And now we have solar power. We have mom's house. We have the wood lot. So we have freezers tucked away all over the place now. Just like the Amish do guys are new around here uh the amish they have english folks with freezers and that's where they keep their food and they also can a lot of meat they can a lot of meat good your american elderberries are rooting out and doing very well having some leaves just ordered the bellicon yes it's a very nice one get get your sassy colors what colors are your <laughs> he wanted he I let him get what he wanted. I, got, I thought when no, I changed him, I'm gonna get What do you mean you let me get what I you, Well you like I that. got it for you as a surprise. You didn't even know I was getting you. No, we picked the colors. No, uh, no. I picked them. I yes, thank you. you we I got it for it. you as a surprise because <laughs> you said you wanted one and I got it for you and I picked your colors 
because those are kind of your color. They are. And that's they why were. that's how that all went down, if you remember right. But we did talk about it. It's one of my it. many beautiful things that I've gotten you in our relationship. He he, he gives me good presents. I will say he, he's very thoughtful and he, he does very good. But I thought today when I was bouncing on it that when they want I want to see your hair, Stacey. Stop it! No, off. get away yeah, from me! Yeah, show them the cap. I'm not showing show them no. the cap. Show <laughs> them the cap. Go away. So they want to see us right there. Show them the care. cap. No, put it down. Show them the cap. Go away. They want to Stop. see it. Don't do it. I'll be so bad. She, at you. Oh, she will be all I, upset. I will. She will. So you'll see angry face. Yeah. You guys want to see it? <laughs> see angry face. Are you going to have more tickets to the conference? Yes, I will. I'll I'll get some out here in a second. I'll surprise you guys on one of these uh, shows on, on a Sunday night, and then we'll open them up real quick. Is live music be in trouble? I thought he was all right. He said Kiss was his favorite band. Who? What are you I like about? Kiss too. Who are you talking about? What? It was my old band when I was a kid. But if he's being in trouble, I we'll have to kick him out. All right, garlic and honey is the best. I got rid of a cold in less than three days. It is the bomb. Big Pharma doesn't want you to know about. Yeah, and cayenne pepper, too. You know, if you have a scratchy throat or something, you can just gargle with it. Y'all, Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist are your best places. You can find blue, the blue 50-gallon rain barrels or barrels that you could turn into rain barrels. Oh, guess what? You can get the IBC. Mallory, types. Mallory from Barefoot Microgreens. Follow her on Instagram, guys. They just are putting theirs up today. She got two blue ones and yeah. they're attaching it so that she can water her microgreens. Yeah, with the nice crazy rain. <laughs> I mean, it's just so man, what is how does this end, y'all? It's so ridiculous. And no one's doing anything about it. And the one guy who wants to do something about it, man, is he running through the coals for you guys. Holy smokes, no one has ever been persecuted ever like this man. Oh my gosh. How long do you bounce on the rebounder? You know what? They were saying, like, if you just did it like for uh, uh, like three minutes, three times a day, that would be awesome. Like, whenever you think about it, like, he's a shorter bouncer. He'll get on and bounce a little bit, get off. So, if you could I'm do a that, tall that's very, very good. When you first get on it and you're bouncing, and make sure you bounce down, you're pushing down into the floor. Don't fly up so much when it bounces into it. So, then you could go, you know, try. Three minutes, then five minutes, ten minutes. People with cancer, they say, if you would go, you know, holistic doc and all that to the doctor, they say, you know, 20 minutes. Um, for me, I like to get a workout. I mean, I've been doing it a long time. You know, 20 minutes is, I like to do 15, 20 minutes. Because you'll, you know, really get going and then I'll maybe do a workout afterwards. Um, but it's good. The other thing that's good about the rebounder, you are on an unstable surface. So just standing on it. Like maybe when you're done or before, if you stand on the rebounder and try to pick up one foot, you're going to be like this and it's going to help your core balance. It's going to help your legs. It's just going to, it's amazing. Then try the other leg because all of us are full of muscle imbalances and that's usually how people get hurt. You know, maybe the back goes out or the leg goes out of their hip because there's something that's not right. So when you're doing it, you'll notice that it could fix some muscle imbalances. One leg might be easy to stand on, one may not. And then that way it kind of helps, you know, regulate both sides. So I like to do balancing on one foot. Um, I even sit on it and you can stretch. You know, you can stand on it if you want to do some weight work because you're still like on a little unstable surface. So it's just, it's great. So you can get Susie, along. this is a deep question, right? Because I don't know about your penalties. I don't know how you feel about this stuff. But my rich dad said, stocks are like, okay, get the kids out of the room. <laughs> Okay, they gone. Tell the kids, give give Uncle Doug and us a second here. Close your ears now. Ah, uh, you guys ready? Stocks are like condoms. They give you a false sense of security while you're being screwed. Okay, that's a it's a true uh, you know it's a fascist right. It's totally communist right. Like I've never been a player on the stocks. They've always sat wrong with me. But my rich dad, Robert Kiyosaki, he hates stocks. Right. And he has a lot of valid reasons why. And I totally subscribe to him. So for a guy like me, I would say, yes, I would probably take all my 401k money out right now before it turns to zero vapor dollars in front of your face and do the things that you need to do while you can do them. But I'm not a financial advisor and I don't play one on YouTube. And I can only tell you what I've done, you know, and many, 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 many moons ago. 
You know, I cashed out a little stinky 401k that I had way before we even came up here because I just, I had this inherent feeling that there was something, you know, just not right about it, you know? And so it was later on after I started studying money and stuff like that, that I found out that my ideas were kind of right, you know? And uh, I encourage my mom to do the same thing, right? So you guys are going to see it's, it's progressively year over year, not performing, you know what I'm saying? And they're going to bust it. We're in the largest bubble in the history of man, and they won't let it correct. And it's going to correct on its own. The market will take care of itself and it's going to pop. And all this housing and all this stuff is going to, it's going to be worse than before, you know, and uh, it's going to be painful. Uh, but, you know, at least you'll be in a good position. Being debt free is a good place to be. Um, but you also could use debt to, Manage, right so like a Dave Ramsey is for people that can't manage their debt okay so if you can't manage your debt if you find yourself buying Gucci bags and silly stuff with your credit cards then you should probably follow the Dave Ramsey but if you use your money to make money if you're buying rental properties or ice machines or you know apartments or just you know anything that can make you money from your money that's being smart all right, Happy Miles, I've seen this a couple of times, it says ha frequency healing, question mark. Mm -hmm. So if a lot of you guys don't know what that means, um, I'm a big, I totally believe in it. You do too. <laughs> um, we listen to it. There's, there's, you can go on YouTube, it's all over. There's different frequencies. I mean, even if you look way back in history, you have the chanting and um, just the sounds, you know, like the monks and the things that they do, uh, the, the drumming, you know, the ancient drumming, those things produce frequencies throughout the body, which is very healing. Um, you can go to YouTube and you can find, you know, frequency healing for your, your immune system or for um, cancer or, you know, you, there's a lot of different things that you can check on there or maybe possibly for, you know, stress or you're dealing with, you know, uh, someone maybe died away, died in your family or, you know, there's different things like that. So you can go on there and generally they say with a lot of the frequency healing, if you listen to the music and it's very soothing, I mean, it's sort of like you're just floating in outer space. So you can turn it on when you're doing stuff, you know, you're in the house listening to it. And if and some of them might be an hour, might be two hours. Some of them you can listen to all night long, but uh, they say you need to do one if there's an issue that you want to work with for like a month, at least 30 days and see if you notice anything. So a lot of people have pain. They have frequency healing for pain. I mean, there's, there's so many different, I mean, you pick up a topic, you'll find the frequency healing on it, but the, it's the The sounds are just beautiful. So. And yeah, if you go to uh, off grid with Doug and Stacey. Get away from me. I don't trust you. you. Can, uh, go away. I'm just hanging out. Get away. If you go to, they, they said they were to take that cap off. Remove no, your they're pride. not. You're prideful. That's what he said right there. You got pride going on. Get it off. Rip it off. Right there. Get over your prideful self. Come on. Let me take it off. Uh, but if you go to off grid with Doug and Stacey .com, you'll just see right there on the first page all of our videos in order of uploads. So you can go all the way back, all the way back. Or you can click our picture. It'll take you right to our YouTube page and all of our videos are there. There's tabs. You can see videos, all of our live streams. We have playlists. Everything's right there and easy for you to find. I wouldn't take your hat off, honey. And then uh, look, people are talking about the chemtrails too. So the other, another thing, a great heavy metal detoxifier <laughs> is uh, cilantro. You guys can all grow cilantro. Cilantro is just amazing. You can make your salsas with it. You can make guacamole, put that in your guacamole. You can make a pesto out of it and just start eating it, you know, every day for a couple of weeks, you know, and then that way, that would be another easy way. I mean, I like to do things that are food that most anybody can get, you know, cause yeah. a lot of people feel weird, you know, if you're going to do this or maybe make a tincture or, or maybe take a supplement. I, I really like to do a lot as much as I can and add it to my diet. So can, uh, another thing is, you know, look into your cilantro um, your intermittent fasting or your fasting is very important. So you don't want to just keep putting stuff in the belly. You, you know, make sure you yeah, have time to let it to really get out, important. you know, make sure between meals, you at least have like when you're eating your lot of times, you know, try to wait a few hours. You don't, you don't want to eat if you're not hungry. <laughs> 
All right. Let's see. I don't want to make sure I forget anything. And yeah, we could talk about the heart machine too, right? Because it's no joke. I mean, it's public thing. knowledge. You guys can look this stuff up. They have heart machines, high frequency pulses that go out and interact with the stuff they're spraying and cause problems with the weather, y'all. China has one. America has one. You can look it up for yourself. It's not a conspiracy. These are facts. Let's quit listening to your friends. They just don't want to acknowledge this stuff, man. Some of this stuff is too much. It's just so much to think about. These there's so much evil, right, that can exist around you. That's the hard thing to put your mind around. And for some reason now, it's all coming unglued, right? Like we've all kind of known it was there, but it was kind of quiet and doing its quiet little closet thing. And now it's like a raging machine. And there's no one with the spine to get it done, you know? One person and they're they're man, they're messing them up every step of the way. Molly's barking She's crazy. She's out, out there, there, man, defending the homestead. 3,900 uh, thumbs up, 4,000 people watching. We're 70 minutes in. It's about to say goodnight, say goodnight. <coughs> Who wants to go to the Kiss concert with me? Where's Kiss? Stacy doesn't want to go. Who said? You never asked me. I asked you. I said I want to go to see him in uh, in New I York said, City. New I want to see him on the last night in New York City. Oh, right. At, uh, what's it called? What's Madison, Square, Madison Garden? Square Garden. I was going to get the fancy tickets. You said you didn't want to go. I don't want to go to New York. That's I'll why I don't like New in here. York. I know. I tried to find They're in Indiana or somewhere, too. Who's in Indiana? Yeah. I'd you have to go, go to your website to find me. I've already answered your question, David. All right. You're going to kiss in Knoxville? See, I got to get my tickets, man. I'll go anywhere but New York. Out. I don't like New York. I'll go with you, Doug. No, kiss, not Kid Rock. Kiss. I mean, look at those dudes, man. Gene Simmons, how old is he? 70-something years old, walking around in those boots. That's why he's healthy. Right. Well, they had a, they, they, they you listen to the interviews with them and they they had so many surgeries and stuff. Like, <laughs> Has he really? Oh no, they oh, say no, because never mind. of those. Yeah, <laughs> no, they say they're they, they are messed up from wearing those because they're so heavy. The uh, and all that. That's it was I a lot of wear and tear on nice, them. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, this stuff's really heavy. They talk about it all the time. Yeah, I just listened to a really like an interview with them both. Yeah. I don't know about your savings bonds. I don't know about your finances, guys. I don't know. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what to tell you. Savings bonds don't give you any kind of good return. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that would be good. I don't know. Like, I'm not your financial guy. I'm just barely getting my stuff figured out for myself, really. And But I know gold and silver is where it's at. I know, you know, I want to have assets, not money. <laughs> You know, I know rich people don't have savings, right? Savings are for suckers. I've learned all this stuff, right? You don't have money in the bank. Oh. Because you're always spending it on something, a new asset. Cheryl wants to know, how do I find your videos? I tried this morning, but couldn't find them. I know, I already just answered go, Yeah, go to just YouTube. click our picture right there, Off Grid with Doug and Stacy, or go to offgridwithdougandstacy.com. It's all good. Good night, sweetheart. Yes, good night. Ghee or lard for cast iron seasoning? Ghee. I prefer definitely ghee, but. It's because we don't mess with lard too yeah. much, except for sheep. We have some sheep lard. How many Dodge? I don't have any uh, Bitcoin stuff. I'm not, I'm not really sold on the Bitcoin stuff. Man, if you guys watch what was going on with these banks collapsing too, those, those three major banks were all connected to Bitcoin. <laughs> the government was straight trying to, they're taking out the competition, y'all. I, mean, I don't know how to tell it to you any better than that. Oh, yes, I just found it. Ren Van, what is it? Ah, Ren Van Miller. Yes, frequency healing, everything is energy and energy is everything. That's yes, right. yes, yes. It is huge. We've talked about Just that like a lot. energy, you know, people, you I we I call them toxic or energy vampires, you know, because we have a allotted amount of energy that we have to give. There's only so much. It's sort of like if you look at your energy, you look at it like your money. 
Where do you want to spend your money? Do you want to spend your money with people who are dragging you down, as I call toxic vampires or That's energy right. vampires? Come on, you know? girl, tell so, them. Basically, you know, let's say you're hanging out with this person all the time and they just drain you. That's your energy. You're giving them all this money, you know, and you didn't get anything from that. So you want to look and see where do you want to spend your energy? Who do you want to spend it with? What does news so, stand for? What is it? News? Negative energy without sustenance. News. Right. That's true. <laughs> so so look at you're spending your energy. And that really helped me a lot when I kind of realized you know, when I'm, where my energy goes, because there's a lot of people that you try to do stuff for everybody, you know, and you're doing it and then you're all drained and you don't have anything left. Or these people just, just pull from you and pull from you. I mean, look and see where you're spending your energy, you know, and, and, and with who, and find out the ones that are the most important. And those are the ones you, where you want to spend your energy. So I'm all about energy here. We have an events tab at offgridwithdougandstacy.com and it tells you all the places we're going to be. Eustace Conway's place is up first at Turtle Island. Then we're going to be at the uh, Homesteading Life Conference. And then we're going to be at the Oki, or vice versa, Oki Homesteading Expo. Expo. That's Expo. the first part of June. May 31st, June 1st. Yeah. Yep. And then we'll have more events showing up on our events tab. And then we'll be talking to you guys as we break away from Homestead a little bit and come out and meet you guys too. Okay. So we'll be coming to you. If you can't make it to us, we'll be going all over the place. Okay. So we got to get our garden going and get our business going with the garden and food and everything. And then we'll stick, stick the babysitter on it and then we'll come see you. Yeah. I mean, it's been crazy with the garden. I just got a little bit more potatoes in today. I've been trying to get little things in here and there. It shouldn't be hard to source vodka for tinctures because you should be buying it now. Then when it gets into the position of being hard to source vodka for tinctures, you got a lot of vodka stocked up. Yeah, every time I go to the <laughs> store, I just buy more. I just get one. Jeez. Like, I'll go to the store, I'll just get vodka. That's it, People man. think It does not go <laughs> bad, right? Like what? If you it. get a chance to go to a Costco or a Sam's Club, that's a great place to go because you get those big bottles and they're really, you know, they're it's a pretty good vodka and uh, you'll get it for a better price. So that's what I've been doing is I've been stocking up with that because it's not going to ever go bad and you'll end up, you know, using it for something. So, I mean, if anything else and you need it to, if you have an injury, you can use it for that. So, and yes, we'll have more tickets to the homesteading live conference. I'm going to get my final numbers together and then I'm going to pack you guys in like sardines. We're going to have a great, Actually, the, the way we have it spread out, you hardly are ever really that crowded up. So just in the very beginning when we say good morning. No, Doug doesn't drink vodka. Sorry. Do you have a bunker built? Yes, we do with a concrete roof. Hey, Doug. Hey, Doug. There have been more train derailments in Alabama and Pittsburgh. Right, because it's no go. And they're all around water for some crazy reason. <laughs> Don't get corn vodka. Tell them, Stacy. Well, unless, you, yeah, because it can be GMO'd, but just, you know, you can look, you can get a lot of them are distilled from a lot of other different things. You can, you know, there's weeds and there's different, there's other ones that they can make it out of too, vodka. Because goats are overrated. They always bust out of the fencing. They're always dancing on the truck uh, hood of your car. They're always trouble, trouble, trouble. Plus the goat uh, boys, right? They stink when they go into their doodads. And their, no thanks, man. I just nothing about them did nothing for me. And we weren't into milking, so that wasn't part of our decision. Sheep is where it's at. Easy keepers. Don't bother my fence. My ram don't stink. Those are just a few of my favorite things. <laughs> Come to New York. I don't know if we can do it, man. That's a hard pill to swallow right there. I, I honestly, I don't think I can. I might come to the state next to you and then you guys will have to come over. Well, we'll hit two of them next to you or something to make it fair. But well, out in the country, New York. It's no, okay. I just Upstate can't even do okay. it, man. I can't even exercise my freedom of Second Amendment. That's like, true. I got to ask for permission to exercise my Second Amendment rights. No thanks, man. You're caught up in there with those crazy people. I don't know if my husband would do sheep after cattle. See, I told you. Cattle people got a thing on the sheep. 
That goes way back. Yeah. What else do we have here? How do we store our eggs? In our belly. I got some in the root cellar. I got them. I got them in the refrigerator. I got them here. I got them there. I got them everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you don't wash them, they last a long yeah, time. They last a long time. If they hot. stay cool, so when you get them fresh right away, we don't really grow asparagus. It's hard to grow. Well, we've no, tried. no, 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 no. Let no, me no, talk. No. He's not the gardener. I am. So, gosh, uh, we just be that, honest. I'm gonna be very now honest. Sounds silly. You're so, making me look like I don't know what I'm talking about. But the, asparagus, the one thing um, I always things happen, and I never planted it. But we have asparagus, wild asparagus that grows around the fence rows. So if you want to get it, you can go harvest it there. And I never play no, it. No, 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 let me talk. But the other thing, um, if you do buy it in the store, asparagus. No, not in the store. Well, I'm just saying because okay, we're ahead. talking about EWG, the Environmental Working Group. <laughs> asparagus is one of those that they don't use as much uh, pesticides on, and it's in the Clean 15. So if you're going to buy it, it's okay there. But if you live out in the country, if you follow the fence rows and you're just driving down the road a lot of the times. You'll start seeing it growing wild. You'll just see it. Yeah. And so what's really cool is I have my little patches where I know it is around and I'll go and I you'll get it up because it's starting to pop up. Yeah. And then you can get it that way. And I always say, I'm going to go and I'm going to dig it up because I know where they are and I'm going to put it and bring it over to my place. And I have not done it yet. And every year I just I'm like, because I love So asparagus. all that to say, no, we don't grow asparagus. <laughs> but I wanted to kind of tell people that you can find it. <laughs> I mean, you try to make me like, oh, he don't know what he's talking about. I'm the gardener over here. And then all that to say, no, we don't grow asparagus. We did it. We tried it a couple times. I mean, that's the long game. Asparagus is a long game. It takes you a couple put it years. In there. It takes a while to get it in there. We put it, it in I'm not saying anything. All I'm saying is it takes a while to get it going. And we did it. And then we didn't. We weren't successful. We tried it. I know what I'm talking about. I'm in the but, garden too, and pfft, no. on you and your dyed hair. <laughs> Stop it! <Yes. laughs> <You're sure. laughs> oh man, you guys are getting some love bones tonight, boy. No, but asparagus is up. all that to say. No. Well, but it's not just that. Asparagus, <laughs> asparagus is, uh, it takes a couple years for it to become, to maturity. Uh, right. It's but the hard thing is, is, we planted it, we were, didn't know where we were going to put it, and it was in a really wet spot, so it was a terrible spot to where we put it. One of these days, I'm going to get it. You can, you can homestead on an acre. You can homestead on less than an acre. Some of y'all can homestead in your own little neighborhood that no, you're living about, in right talk now. Talk about when we were in Hawaii. Man, we had the folks, they had quail, chickens. I mean, in a little bitty, little bitty place. I mean, it might have been, was it like a, they not even a 400 food. square foot house? Yeah, they had bananas. This was in, in Hawaii, you know, like there in um, Waikiki. Or you can get a book called Square Foot Gardening. It's awesome, right? And you can learn how to grow a lot of food in a very small space. You don't really need a lot of space. And my little book coming out will probably be a good help to you. The homesteading booklet. And I'm working on it, so it'll be out pretty soon. Do y'all know anything about the E-System rooms opening around the country? E what? E-System? E-E? You know, I guess we don't. Yeah, I don't know what that is. <sighs> Can we eat them? <laughs> I'm just having to remember it. <laughs> you little gun shy there? Yeah, you better stop it. You're, you're a big trouble. Uh, yeah, you can use tower gardens, y'all grow in whatever you can grow in. Yeah, Seriously. Like for a lot of you now, if you haven't done anything yet, get some tubs or whatever. No raised beds garden if you can get them and, and you know, they're, they're good. If Is it my first choice? No. You know, but they, they will work fine. You can mound up a hill and just put dirt in a hill and grow food right in there as a raised bed. You don't need sides. Or you don't get like a big tub and you can put your potatoes in there. Yes. Now you yes. can have potatoes. I was going to have the pre-sale start tonight on Stacy's book. She said she was really going to work on it today and she didn't. I did too. <laughs> I wrote things down. <laughs> he, he don't make me, me give you the asparagus me, routine now. He expects me to be on the computer. <laughs> That's right. That's working on your book. But I like to, I'm like old fashioned. I like to write down first and then I like to type it. So uh, she's going to work on it a little bit more because what happens is 
honest to goodness, when we did the last pre-sale, it was like a year. And I don't want to wait that long. No, it's not going to be that long. So I'm she's, way, she's way. She's really yeah. good on it right yeah. now. And when I do it, I don't want you guys waiting that long. So I, I was going to feel bad if I put it up tonight. So it is going to start coming out here in a minute. We'll have a pre-sale so we know how many books to order. And then I'll have my book too so we know how many books to order. And then those books will always be on our website and stuff. And we're working hard to give you guys this information. Working hard. Working hard. Stacy, do you like water glassing eggs? We never really do. No, I never. Because we just eat them. Because you know what? Because we, we have our, you know, four seasons here. And generally, I'll hatch them out, my chickens, in the um, spring every year. And when they're ready to lay, it takes five to six months. They're going to lay all through my winter months. So I have eggs all year round. Um, and then if I had eggs, let's say I couldn't, I mean, a lot of my eggs, they're going to lay maybe till November or so. And if I put them in the freezer, they could last me months in the refrigerator probably. So we, I really don't, we don't do it. All right, man. If you guys haven't watched our video today, we hope you do. It looks like it's got about a hundred and something thousand views right now, which is pretty good. It means people are wanting to know the information and that they're trying to pay attention. So that's cool. Make sure you guys share that video with people. Yeah, it has 127,000 views right now. So that's, I mean, this is important information to get into people's ears, right? Some people are just going to continue to ignore it. But I think if we could just kind of, you know, just keep kind of letting people know what's going on. If enough people get sick of it, maybe we can turn this tide a little bit. You know, it's going to take a lot of us to do it. That's for sure. And we I don't like snakes. They scare me. What snakes? How do you purify your rainwater for drinking? We run it through just a little bare leaf little filter system and then we run it through our Berkey water filter system and then we drink it to our yummy tummy. Do we ever use Everclear? <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah, Everclear is wonderful to make tinctures. Yeah, mm -hmm. actually, it's like the best. You have to dilute it, though, later, you know. Where can I buy the best sheep from me? No, but we're, we we really don't sell that many because... I got a couple I'd be yeah. selling here soon. But yeah, I pretty much have the best sheep, y'all. I give the best sheep. <laughs> You're not starting crazy. I do. I have the best sheep. Our girls, uh, I got them trained in so good. Our little ram out there. So, somebody could pick up old uh, dark face out there. Oh, we do have a ram, yes. I, get, I'm, I can give her the dark face. We did, his, name, dark his name is Olaf because his mom's Olaf. Elsa. Olaf. His well, mom is Elsa. And it's Olaf. And he's a good little boy. You can name whatever you want. But I probably get rid of a ram if you guys are interested in a ram. Stacy was going to eat him. But he's kind of nice. He has a very good temper. Yeah, he's sweet. So if you guys wanted to have one with a good temperament, otherwise, yeah, you're going in the freezer, man. I mean, no shame to our game around here. Doug, I haven't seen anything about the cellar you built. Well, we got a whole playlist here. On the way out the door, I'll do the work for you. I'll go to YouTube. Then I'll go to Off Grid with Doug and Stacy, And then I'll see our page there, Off Grid with Doug and Stacy, And then I'll click the playlist tab on my laptop. And I'll scroll down. And I will be looking for the root cellar build. And then I will be seeing the rainwater catchment, the solar oven cooking, off-door kitchen build, outdoor kitchen build. There's the travels, the greenhouse, natural remedies, fermenting, tiny house build, chainsaw, complete beekeeping, off-grid composting toilet, solar-powered workshop build. <gasps> Off-grid ICF root cellar build. The whole playlist. How many videos are included in this playlist? Oh, there's so many to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I mean, so many to count. All right, so here's your playlist. Homework. I'll do it for you. I never was good at homework. 
So I'll do yours for you. It makes me feel good. And while he's looking for that, we're still, we're talking also about like, you know, how, how to keep your body healthy, you know, to detoxify from all the junk and stuff and all that. Um, and also remember how vitamin C is very important for detoxification Definitely. for your cells and all that. So make sure you're getting vitamin C rich foods. And if you do are looking into taking supplementation, um, you know, vitamin C, the one that's probably the most absorbable for people is like liposomal vitamin C. Um, that is another good one. If someone has digestive problems or possibly like, um, you know, more sensitive, the buffered vitamin C is, is also good. But the liposomal is very, very absorbable. So that's the one that I like to use. Um, you know, making sure you have good, you know, your B vitamins. I always say, like, if you want to supplement something, is uh, nutritional yeast is good. Make sure it's un non-fortified. That's right. That's Don't a big it. deal. You guys will get tricked into fortified Because yeast. everywhere you buy, you have to <clears throat> generally order it online. And you can sprinkle it on your food and your salads and stuff like that. But just generally, like, my big thing for the garden, like, right now, which is nice. It's still very cold here. There's not much on the trees yet. I'm, I like to do like this is my time of year because of my broccoli and your cauliflower and my arugula and my turnips. I mean, I'm trying to, I'm planting all that stuff. A lot of greens. I got my onions and my potatoes in. Um, so you just, you know, I'm just trying to do a lot of the cruciferous type of vegetables, you know, your radishes. And those things are very helpful for the liver. Um, and I know there is a noxious weed that grows all over people's yards. The spiky thing is called the milk thistles. Milk thistle, you can Good use. Point. It's a very wonderful detoxifier. You know, you can go to the store, um, a lot of the stores, and they'll have milk thistle tea. It's a, a great way to detoxify your liver, too. But always check all this stuff, whatever I'm saying, you know, talk to your, your healthcare professional and, you know, do more research on it and all that. But milk, milk thistle is another really great way to, um, to detoxify. Um, Making sure that you're drinking water because if you're not drinking water, you know, things aren't going to work effectively through the body. That's so. a major thing. I'm telling you guys, uh, so many Americans and people around the world are chronically dehydrated. They're chronically years of years of not being hydrated properly are building up, causing dementia and all this other stuff, ailments, uh, arthritis. Well, aches and pains. A lot yes. of people's aches and pains in their body just if they you know, are sipping throughout the day. That's why I like to have a big container. I have my bottle. And then I know if I don't drink that water, that kind of gives me an idea of how much. Like if I just would drink a glass of water throughout the day, I'll never drink enough water. If I can visually see it and it's in a bottle, then I know I, I, I'm looking at it. It's like, oh my gosh, you know, I need to drink some more water. So that kind of helps me throughout the day to know how much. So I have it in a, in a you know bottle and I'll just make sure that I have that drunk by the that proper grammar by the end of the day. So water is just huge. And just make sure that it's not your tap water. You don't want it, the city water, because it's loaded when, with bad contaminants. It's just not good. So make sure you're having a good filtered water. And by adding a little pinch of your Redmond salt or the Soleil, um, what was the video I did called? Soleil, Soleil. My wife wanted me to drink this for 30 days, and I did. Okay, yep, that's it. Go watch that. Everyone's been uh, emailing us, telling us about their adventures with Sole, Sole. And uh, maybe, you know, like out of all the hundreds and hundreds, I'm getting back. Oh, I'm feeling great. Oh, my. I've, actually, this has made a difference. Oh, I got like two that said, yeah, I'm not really noticing nothing. But everybody else literally is saying that, you know, it's really doing them some good. So. Oh, and the other thing you guys can um, think about growing that is going to be very helpful for detoxification is sulforaphane. That, um, that you get that in your cruciferous vegetables, but it's extra really high in broccoli sprouts. So if you make some microgreens or sprouting in a jar, you know, you can sprout pretty much anything, radish sprouts, you can do clover sprouts, you can do, you know, your broccoli sprouts are gonna be the highest in the sulforaphane, and that's another great detoxifier too. So just know that, you know, the foods that we're eating, everything has been given to us, you know, from the herbs to the foods, you know, we can grow or if you get them from a farmer's market or a local farmer, you know, all these things are very helpful for our bodies. And if we need to start staying away from all that processed junk and going through the drive through because it's the easy way, you know, Ugh. start preparing because then you'll start feeling better. You know, some of us, this is like, oh, I'm just kind of feel so tired. I can't wait to sit down. 
Well, we're not meant to be like that. Your body wants to heal and be good all the time. So just start. Says we've never, uh, Great Lakes Explorer has never heard us talk about the health benefits of wild mushrooms. We're just not the wild mushroom crew. And I need to be, and they are, uh, the, no, they health benefits really of mushrooms are great. Like the turkey, the turkey tail, tail, lion's mane. The um, morel. Oh, definitely. That'll be popping out soon. But chaga mushroom. Like I have, have a, a chaga. bunch of chaga. I love chaga. I use them. I do use them. But I haven't delved into... You, know, you have to be real particular. I mean, that's the whole, you know. Yeah, that's, I, I'll get there. I'll get there. But, no, I'm all about mushrooms. We use They're them. Wonderful. Uh, yeah. we don't, we're not, they don't really, they're just not that around us. Like, morels are popping right now because of the rain we had. Everyone's out trying to hunt the morels right now. Well, in a little bit. And we just haven't, yeah. yeah but we just, it's just not in our thing. We haven't we do done that. Much. But, no, they're great. They're, they're great. They're, they're wonderful, and we do use them. Four Eagles, if they have questions, they just write them in all camps. I answer them for free. We don't want your money. We don't want to do super chats. Just leave your questions in all caps. We'll try to get to them and just keep asking them over and over. If you notice that we're not answering them, though, it's maybe because we just answered them or, you know, sometimes that happens a lot. I've noticed so much food in the containing acetaflame, potassium, bad for the gut. What? Where are you? I've noticed so much food now containing acid of flame, acid of flame. There are so many additives and stuff to our food. Disgusting. These days, and it causes, a, a lot of it is causing so many problems. That's why you, it's so important to, st I know it takes time. Like a lot of times I remember years ago, I go to the grocery store because I love to go to the grocery store and I love to read the labels and I like to take my time. That's why I don't like to go with him because he's like, hurry up, hurry up. Because I read everything. I read all the labels. So once you start going and start reading your labels, you'll find what brands, what things only have a couple things in them and just stay away from all these other little extra things. A lot of them will cause gastric problems. You'll cause bloating. Maybe you just won't feel very good. Maybe you'll feel shaky. Maybe you just don't feel right. It's all because of all these little things that they're adding to food. So just be very careful of the colors, the dyes, the natural flavors, the natural colors. You know, that sounds okay. Yeast extract, those are all just terrible for us. Maltodextrin, yeast extract. I mean, all those things just wreak havoc on our bodies. So just try to stay away from them. Thanks, Carbon Based. We appreciate you too. Stacy, have you ever made a purple nettle tea? And if so, what is it good for? A purple nettle tea? Yeah. I have, this is actually nettle tea right here. <laughs> I drink nettle tea, like, especially for a lot of you guys that are suffering allergies, nettle tea is amazing for, um, I've never done the purple. I've never done that. Ooh. Um, but, yeah, nettle tea is great for allergies. So, like, if you would start doing it, doing the tea before the season, you know, and you start doing it, it could be more helpful than doing it right when your symptoms are bad. Because I know a lot of people are having bad allergies right now. But yeah, nettle tea is it's just, I love it to death. Is Molly afraid of thunder and lightning or windstorms? No, nope. she's not afraid Guns of anything. Either. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's a wrap. We're 97 minutes in. We're going to have a good sleepy night night. My battery's going to die on the laptop. We tried to answer your questions as we We talked about foods that we're growing to help detox our bodies from all the spraying and just general breathing and walking around in today's modern world. Oh, man. It's all, all these... <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hopefully, you guys got some good information, you know. So, we try to answer your questions as best we can. Sunday nights are always a joy for us. We look forward to hanging out with you guys. And... Um, that's it, man. Somebody asked silver or gold. Yep. <laughs> Either or. Wow, Sherry, thanks for catching us live. How often should one drink elderberry juice daily? You do a little shot daily. Get a little shot glass and have some. Yes, Layla, we will be at the Oki Homestead on June 2nd. Yes, sure. get your tickets. Stacy's fermenting class is already sold out. Yeah, we'll be there both, uh, on both days. But we will be there loving y'all and hanging out and talking and having a great time. Yep, it'll be good times. 
and we will see y'all later. Oh, good morning from Australia. Good night, Mike. Oh, my goodness. All right, you guys. All right, let's see if we got one more question. I don't think so. We got them. We got them all. We did it. We're a dynamic duo. Don't forget it. <laughs> all right, you guys. Take care of yourselves, will you? The most capable hand is at the end of your wrist. Bye. Have a good night. We'll see you soon.